All right, you are looking at space number eight at Mosquito Creek Campground just outside of Lake Louise on the way to Banff. And uh, you know, it was very, very lucky that I got this campsite at all because uh, all of the campsites between, um, well, basically all of the campsites between uh, Lake Louise, or Banff for that matter, and uh, and uh, Jasper are first come first serve. So I pulled in here at about 4 o'clock, 4.30 and every site was taken. There's my little rental car. You can see I've got my my stock of stock of dry wood. You know that's something you wouldn't think about normally but having dry firewood is priceless. So anyway I uh, pulled in here at about 5, 4.30 something like that and uh, every spot was um, every spot was taken and this is a no frill campsite this has no uh, no showers to speak of I'm sure that they have toilets around here somewhere I haven't uh, haven't seen any yet but uh, I'm sure all these trees would serve as a uh, serve as a purpose anyway so uh, I pulled up and there was a um, couple guys there's a volunteer that kind of mans the the campsite and I pulled up and uh, and he was um, volunteer was here and uh, he told me that there was a guy at space number eight that's going to sleep in his truck and you're allowed two vehicles per campsite so uh, he was um, kind enough to uh, the guy at space number eight told me that I could pitch my tent there and he'll just park his car over by the uh, by the lodge but you can see this guy here got here pretty early and he's got a uh, he's got a campsite right on the creek. I guess that's what you would call this, the creek, Mosquito Creek. So he's got a uh, he's got a choice spot, provided we don't uh, you know see a flood overnight or something. But uh, there you have it. So there is uh, Mosquito Creek. I would assume is the name, hence the name of the of the campground. So it's just a place to sleep. I'm not going to say that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to give a, you know, overly romantic impression of, of camping. It is just a place to uh, to lay my head. And uh, last couple nights, I've actually slept rather comfortably in the tent. Believe it or not, it's I've got a really nice uh, cushion that's inflating on top of the car as uh, as I walk around doing this video. So the uh, the campground host, the volunteer. He was telling me that uh, oftentimes if people pull in here and the campground is full that some of the host will let uh, campers pitch their tent over here in this grassy area here you know which aren't is not uh, designated campsites but they uh, they kind of look the other way you know to let people have a place to sleep for the night and there is the uh, building there they got a, a wood-fired stove inside there and what have you so anyway that is the uh, that's the update for uh, day number whatever this is from uh, Mosquito Creek campground and uh, and there's my there's my spot right there all right Oops. All right, let's get on with the night. You are looking at the entrance to Lake Louise in beautiful Banff National Park. Lake Louise is a real popular tourist destination, and I'm going to spend just a few hours here. It's not a very big spot. There's a very, very small village and a couple of nice overlooks and a couple other items of interest, including the visitor center. So I'm going to bring you along for a real quick tour of Lake Louise on my way to Banff. All right, I made my way back down to the visitor center, and there is a picture of the area here. And you can see Lake Louise down in the lower right corner there, and uh, Moraine Lake up towards the top left. And the sign says, uh, Imagine arriving here in the 1880s, the smell of pine forests, the sound of avalanches from the mountains above, and the wonder of vast, unexplored country ahead. Today, the ice capped peaks, hidden valleys, and turquoise lakes are 
as spectacular as ever were and are much easier to get to. So here is the, uh, the visitor center and I'm gonna just take you inside the visitor center which is uh, right next to the village and I'll share the village with you here in just a just a moment. They have a uh, gondola right over here. Uh, actually a uh, looks like a carriage a gondola. I believe there's a gondola somewhere around here that'll take you up for a nice view of the of the lake and you can see some beautiful uh, flowers right here as I walk into the Lake Louise Visitor Center here. I was in here yesterday. It's actually a very nice place with some really helpful helpful staff and as you're coming in there is a sign that says discover how alive you can be and it gives you everything that you can do in this in this area here. There's uh, Moraine Lake which is where I just was uh, Morant's Curve, that's on the Bow Valley Parkway, which I'm going to go on in just shortly. Lake Louise Gondola, the Icefields Parkway, uh, you can go to Bow Lake. Um, what else? The uh, You can go to the Banff Windermere Highway, etc. So let's go on inside and uh, take a look at the Visitor Center. Alright, so here is the inside of the Visitor Center at Lake Louise. And uh, we've got some wonderful displays up here on this rock here and uh, here is a lovely uh, Vanessa Hola Vanessa from Venezuela and she recognizes me because she charged my battery for me last night right <laughs> so now you're on YouTube Vanessa you're gonna have to subscribe to my channel I will, I will. what is the one thing that I absolutely must see or do in Banff. In Banff National Park? Yeah, what is the one one thing that I can't leave without doing? Without doing, I think besides do the sightseeing on the roads, it's visit the lakes, especially Lake Louise, Moran Lake or Quito Lake, uh -huh. and the sunset. And the sunset? And the sunset, because the connection that you get with the mountains uh -huh. and with the nature, with yourself, mm -hmm. it's something that is, indes is indescribable. Fantastic. Now, so, can you say that in Spanish? Yeah, sure. Huh? One of the things that you have to do when you come to the National Park is, además de ver y tomar fotos, es también visitar a los lagos como Lake Louise, Moraine Lake, o Pito Lake, especialmente en el atardecer, porque es la conexión que tú vas a vivir y es indescriptible para tu experiencia. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Vanessa, and thank you for charging my battery. <laughs> I really appreciate it. We'll see you on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Everybody likes being on YouTube, so let's just do a quick tour through here. You might see a uh, a mountain goat as you're as you're coming through here. Uh, I actually did see some of those. And over here is a uh, there's a grizzly bear right there. I actually thought they were a little bit bigger than that. And here is a uh, here's a wolf. Here's Edward Fuse, was one of the first many Swiss guides brought to Canada by Canadian Pacific Railway uh, to lead visitors safely to the highly sought after mountain peaks. So there is he. And there is a uh, gentleman. Well, that's actually a woman climbing the, uh, the mountain and the man has a nice pipe in his, uh, in his mouth. So they got a lot of a lot of info, useful information in here. Here are, uh, this is a, actually a caribou that you see warnings for all over the place. And there's a, uh, there's a caribou. And they have a, uh, actually have a theater in here where you can come in and, and watch a movie. And they've got some different photos photos on display. Here's an old time picture of the of the glacier. You can say they were dog friendly back then as well. Glaciation is the word. And then here is the uh, here's the movie theater. 
All right, so let's uh, let's go check out uh, let's go check out Lake Louise itself after a very quick stop at the at the village. Here is a uh, physiological map of the area here. All right, folks, this is Banff Village right here. It's basically a, uh, basically a parking lot. There's a couple cafes. I see a liquor store. They got a post office, Bow River Trading Company. There is a candy shop. And uh, I think there's a restaurant as well. And over here you have Wilson Mountain Sports and they've got rentals and what have you. So I'm not going to, I'm not gonna do a walk through the, uh, the parking lot but this is basically Lake Louise Village let's go on to the lake all right so if you take anything away from this video know that the parking situation for Lake Louise is absolutely horrendous just leaving the village it's about a five kilometer trip up from the village or I should say the parking lot it's about a five kilometer trip up and there's a big sign right at the base of the hill that says parking lot full and it's 10 in the morning and they had warned me down at the uh, post office that I, sh I could expect this kind of traffic but uh, boy the parking lots are just full and they have uh, people working the parking lot trying to uh, get the flow of traffic going and I was uh, I was fortunate to find a spot so anyway Let's go down and see this beautiful Lake Louise. All right, so just a short walk from the parking lot. You can see the lake here and a lot of people walking out and about. And uh, just from the little glimpse that I'm getting, it sure is beautiful. This hotel right here is the, I believe it's called the Fairmont. And if you look at pictures on, on Google, or anywhere else for that matter of Lake Louise that usually dominates the the skyline there so here is uh, here is Lake Louise look at this I can't even imagine what a view from the uh, top floor of the hotel would be like and the cost of having a, uh, a room up there as well Let's just go and take a look. The sign here says it says uh, "Welcome to Lake Louise," and they give you an idea of the different. And it was named for Louise, fourth daughter of Queen Victoria of England. In case you were wondering, so named for the fourth daughter of. Queen Victoria of England. I don't, uh, probably the third daughter, you know, probably missed out. She probably wasn't, uh, well, maybe they named a lake for her somewhere else. But uh, you see lots of people here just hanging out, taking, uh, taking beautiful pictures. A lot of people on canoes out on the, uh, out on the lake. Look at that, how beautiful. Plenty of photo opportunities here, for sure. And if you want to, you can come over here and rent a, uh, rent a canoe. I'll go on over and see what, uh, what it costs to, to rent a canoe here at Lake Louise. All right, so as I approach the uh, canoes, this guy's getting ready for his uh, bike ride. How far are you cycling? Got his mouth full. You where? From Vancouver to Jasper. From Vancouver to Jasper. You know there's like mountains in between, right? Are you camping? Back to Exo Loops and behind Pemberton, there was a mountain. Are you, uh-huh. Between, um, Cologne on here, it's just flat almost. Are you camping along the way? Yeah, where are you from where? I'm from Germany. From Germany, fantastic. All right, having a good holiday? It's amazing here. Have you seen yeah, any bear, have you seen any bears? Yeah, two black bears. 
two black bears. I want to see Gubesi and the wolf. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Have a good yeah. holiday. Thank you. All right, here's his uh, here's his rig <laughs> that he's got. He's just all uh, all biking. Did you bring that from Canada or from Germany? I bought it here. You bought it here. All right. Sell it here again. Yeah. All right. Have a good trip. Thank you. Okay. So here is the uh, the boathouse guided voyager canoe experience. Adults fifty dollars. Children's twenty five dollars. Paddle on the sparkling emerald surface at Lake Louise from the comfort of our authentic twenty six foot cedar strip group canoes. So there you go. Look at that. Really, really a beautiful sight. Look at that. And this is your second person? Alright, so I found a nice spot to do some uh, self-portraits. So I'm traveling around, I'm doing some uh, self-portraits. It's nice to have that, uh, you know, that picture of yourself at such beautiful places as Lake Louise here. And this is the uh, view that I found for a, uh, for a nice picture. I couldn't think of a nicer view than this and the uh, tour of Lake Louise before I head down to Banff. And this is the river going down and you can see how beautiful it is and that wonderful emerald green color. So with that in mind, hope you enjoyed the visit to Lake Louise and on to Banff National Park. While well, I'm in Banff National Park, on to Banff in Banff National Park.